So on this one, we're going to show you how to equip a sword, both in the Twin Blast character, which is a separate character, and in the game animation sample uh, default character. We'll start in the default character, and then we'll uh, change it for the other character. So we'll get a sword, we'll set it up, and we'll be able to equip. And it'll also stop us being able to equip when we are trying to climb on something, which is important, or when we execute in uh, actions like that. And yeah, super easy tutorial, simple to follow. It's ideal for those games where you've got one weapon, such as like God of War, where he had his axe until he didn't have his axe. So we're just in a blank project for game animation sample, and we are going to add a weapon and equip it and unequip it. So the first thing we need is we're going to go to fab and find a sword. A sword, any sword, as long as it's free. If it's free, it's for me. I don't think these quicksaw ones are free for other people. So we're going to find a cool looking sword. This fantasy sword will do the jobby. We'll drop it down to free and we'll click add to project. Next, we're going to go up here. We're going to go to Mixamo and we're going to grab two things from Mixamo. You might need to sign in or create an account. We're going to grab a character. I've got this Nordstrom guy. Click download, click original pose, and then click download. And then we need an equip. And I want this unarmed equip over shoulder. And we're going to click download and download it without skin and download. Back in our game animation sample project, we've got our sword. A couple of bits we need to check with our sword. We're going to grab it out. That seems all right, actually. And, oh, wait. Nope. Well, that might be a bit big. It's a little bit big. So we can grab the static mesh, go to modeling, go to X form. Go to transform and put it on 0 0.5, shrink it in half, and we'll bake that like that. And then the other thing I want to do is this pivot point. I just want it on the handle because that's where we're going to grab it. So click accept, bake that, make sure this folder is to new fold to current folder, and then we'll bake it just so it overrides the other one. Cool looking sword. Right, sweet. Let's go and import our dude. So we're going to get our character 14 and import him. And all of this is fine. It's going to make its own skeleton. It comes with its own skeleton, so that's fine. Click import. And there we've got character 14. We're going to import our animation, the unarmed equip. Right, so before you click import on this, one thing that you do need to check is down here, make sure this animation length is source timeline, not set range or animated time. And it's just important the animation. And then make sure that this skeleton is selecting your Mixmo character. Mine says 14, but yours could be any number. We'll click import. Double click on that to make sure that it's there. And we can see it's on our skeleton. Beautiful. Right click it. Then we're going to go to retarget animations, we're going to type in UEFN in the target scale, double click this, there's our guy grabbing our sword, and then we're going to click export. So we're basically taking it from character 14 and told it to attach to UEFN skeleton. And the reason we can't do that just from the animation is because the Mixamo animations are to a Mixamo skeleton and the character 14 is the Mixamo skeleton we want. Let's go and export that. Now we've got our animation. We can get rid of our Mixmo guy and his animation. See you later, potato. Right. Next, we're going to Control D. So select it, Control D, and duplicate it. And this will be unequip sword. Open up unequip sword. Then we're going to change the rate scale to minus one. And it goes backwards. And then we're going to press Control, select both of these and create anim montages. Inside the montages, we're going to find where it's put in the weapon. 
and right click add notify and we're going to get montage notify and then the same for unequip and just there and montage notify and then click save we're going to open up the character so we go to blueprints cbp sandbox and here inside mesh we're going to click add we're going to add a static mesh and this will be our fantasy sword now if you notice that it's on the floor well we don't want that so we're going to go to mesh and we're going to find the skeletal mesh asset so click into it open that up and it'll open up this and we want to find spine 04 spine 05 will probably do actually right click and we're going to add a socket and this socket will be called the sheathed sheathed sword unequipped sword whatever is comfortable for you then we're going to select sheath sword and we're going to add a preview asset this will be our sword and oh my god it's chainsaw man but not and then we're going to select sheath sword socket and we're going to mess with it a little bit so we've rotated it with this rotation one at the top and we're going to move it with the moving gizmo we could have a wonder woman effect like so but we want a rotated sword and for it to be just there perfect all right next we're going to get the hand we're going to get hand r because everyone in video games seems to do right handed and we're going to right click add socket and this will be our weapon equipped socket then we're going to do the same again we're going to right click add preview asset or mesh set the fantasy sword and we're going to rotate it now this is just so this sword yours might be different and i want it tucked into the hand a little bit and down there we go and we'll click save back in our character we're going to get that static mesh we're going to select this parent socket and we want the sheath sword socket and it snaps straight to that oh that beautiful in our event graph we're going to right click press the number one and get keyboard event one you can have an input action if you want and then we're going to get our variables and create a new one we're going to create a boolean we're going to say weapon equipped and drag that out do a branch so you can hold mouse button and you can hold b and press the left mouse button and that'll create a branch then we're going to right click type in play montage and we are going to so if the weapon is equipped then we need to unequip it. So we need to, from skeletal mesh component, we're going to drag out mesh, character mesh. And this montage to play will be the unequip sword montage. And then on notify begin, we're going to get our stack mesh. And we're going to say attach component to component. And the parent will be our mesh. And the socket name will be our back slot, whatever we've called that. So that's going to be our sheath sword. And we're going to select that to go there. And then we're going to grab all of this, press control D and then connect it to false so if the weapon is not equipped then we're going to equip like that and we want to change this sheath sword to the sword where are you weapon equip socket so we'll copy that these names do need to be exact so you do want to copy and paste them 
and we need to make sure all these is snap to target. Next couple of bits, we're going to grab our weapon equipped and we're going to set it on the top one to say that the weapon is not equipped anymore. So empty means no and ticked means yes. So true. So we're also going to grab our weapon equipped and on the false branch after we've equipped the weapon, we're going to say that yes, we have this weapon equipped. So now we should be in a good position to play the game. So if we select play, I'll get rid of this and I press button one. You can see that I've got a sword equipped. I press button one again and see that it's not equipped anymore. You can also see that I am sliding when I equip the sword. So there's two things that we can do to stop that. The first thing is we can select these two green ones, do them one by one, and we can turn on root motion. And root motion just says that our character is going to go as far as the animation and this animation says that the character is not going anywhere. So root motion equals zero, therefore character equals zero. So we pressed one now, that stops that. And the animation is a little bit janky and you can see it turns to the side a little bit, but it does the job. The other thing that we could do if we come back here and turn root motion off again, so that we don't mess with stuff is we could go to blueprints, go to ABP sandbox, go to the anim graph. And between these two, we're going to want to get this result and do a layered blend per bone. And from this pose history, we're going to cache. So we're going to get new save cache and call this loco base. And then from base pose, we're going to get loco base. And we're going to get loco base again. And then we're going to get slot. So slot, default slot. I'm going to connect those two up to blend pose zero. So at the minute, this is default slot, but we need to change that to only be the top half of the body. So default slot, but that is not set up here so layered blend per bone so we're going to branch filter and we're going to say that from spine 04 the blend depth of four and the area or the rotation is correct on there and now when we play it tries to play on the full body so we need to go to unequip our montages and we need to change this slot to upper body slot, but it doesn't exist. So we're going to go to slot manager. We're going to add a slot. I'm going to call this upper body. And then we'll drop this down to upper body. And the same for this unequipped one, slot name upper body. We don't need to create it. We only need to create it once. And then back in the ABP where the slot default is, we can now drop this to slot upper body compile it again and we can run and equip and unequip our sword. There we go. Very nice. Very fancy. What is a problem though is two things. We can do play from here. And if I jump this, I can also unequip my sword and equip my sword. So if I'm going up here, you see that I am equipping and unequipping my sword. Like so, so I can stop this with a branch and it does need to be a separate branch to this one, sadly. And we can go to traversal, get doing traversal action and get a knot ball and put that in there. So if we are not doing a traversal action, then we can unequip our sword. And if we are doing one, then it doesn't do anything. And then it checks if we've got the weapon equipped already. And the reason we can't link them together is because it will always hit one of these, even if it's doing something here. So we need to check this one first and then the other one. So now if I try and climb this wall, I can't equip my sword and I can unequip my sword, but I can't put it away when I'm trying to climb this wall. Beautiful. That's one problem. Now the other problem is 
if I go to details and go to world, go to world settings and change the selected game mode pawn from our default character to twin blast. Now I can go and equip the sword and he has special telekinetic powers. So we need to fix that so that it's always on the right character. So over in us, uh, over in our sandbox character blueprint, we need to create a custom event. So I'm going to add custom event and we'll call this one equip. And then we can control D to duplicate it, rename this one to unequip and connect them to the correct branch. So unequip goes to the top one and equip goes to the bottom one. And then from our one event where we're checking if doing traverse action and getting a weapon equipped branch from true, we need to call the unequip event and from false, we need to call the equip event. And I'll show you why in a second. Next step is we're going to open up our blueprints. We're going to go to our retargeted characters and we're going to find where is twin blast. Twin Blast. We're going to right click and grab the equip event. We want the event, not the function. Event equip. Then we need to get Sunbox character and we're going to grab everything after equip. Just here. Right, copy it. And then in Twin Blast, going to add that here. And then rather than the mesh being the parent, the mesh needs to be twin blast and we're going to just copy this socket name and open up twin blast so select twin blast go to its get on mesh asset and open it and r we can right click and add a socket and we can rename that socket to the one that we've got and then we can add preview asset fantasy sword and make sure that the fantasy sword matches where we would want to put it on twin blast. So again, move it around, put it in a little bit and you can rotate it to make it look nicer. Like that. So I'm going to leave mine there you can play with yours to make it so sort of how you want it really if we press one you can see that he equips just fine into his correct hand like you do need to do the back one as well but this is only just due to how the game animation sample project is set up all the characters inherit from the sandbox character and the sandbox character is actually hidden inside these so if i go to visibility you can see that he is there and Twin Blast is rather bigger than him.